Praise the name of the Lord. I am glad. I'm glad to be here again. This is the day the Lord has made that we may rejoice and be glad in it. This is Apostle Robinson from Nairobi, Kenya. And let's go straight to the word of God in the book of uh, Acts chapter number 12, verse number 5. The Bible says, So Peter was kept in prison, but earnest prayer for him was made to God by the church. Honest prayer was made uh, for him, you know, uh, to God by the church. I want to share with us a subject travailing to prevail in prayer. Glory to God. And as a child of God, it is, it is very important for us to know that God is calling us back to a place of travailing to prevail in prayer. The, you know, as a church of Jesus Christ, we have been so much in so many things and we are not focusing on the line of prayer. We are not praying as far. We are not calling upon the name of God as far. In other words, we are not travailing. We are not laboring very well in prayer. And uh, when I'm looking at the word travail, the word travail means to labor, laboring. In the spirit, God wants us back to a place of laboring in the spirit. Because if you are not laboring in the spirit, my brother and my sister, you may not prevail in the areas that you really want God to, you know, move in your life. You really want to excel in some areas in your life. And so you cannot excel in some areas. You cannot prevail in your in some areas. You cannot, you know, in you know, in, in success for life in some areas if you have not labored in the spirit. And so God is calling you and I as the church right now to, to be in a place of laboring in the spirit, which means you're working in the, in the, you know, you're working with the materials of the spirit, working, working, glory to God, working with the materials of the spirit in the word of God, because you cannot also labor in the spirit if you're not uh, giving the word of God as the application. You need to give uh, the application of God's word in your life as the material in the spirit that you're using to pray in Jesus' mighty name. Glory to God. Now, travailing prayer is the manifestation of the grief of heart. Let me repeat that again. Travailing prayer is the manifestation of the grief of heart. In other words, it is the manifestation of pain. If you have not been in pain, glory to God. Hallelujah. I feel the Holy Ghost. Somebody said somewhere that if you don't know my pain, you may not understand why I prevail the way I prevail. You may not understand why I praise God the way I praise God. If you don't know my pain, you cannot understand my praise. You cannot understand the way I jump. You cannot understand you know, how God has packaged my life, and so you cannot understand where God is taking me. Now, listen to me. God is calling us to a place of travailing to prevail. The Bible says that Peter was kept in prison. Do you think a prison is a good place to be? No. A prison of debt, it's not a good place to be. A prison of sickness, it is not a good place to be. A prison of doubt, it is not a good place to be. In the name of Jesus, I want somebody to know that God has sent me over to your life to declare these words, that he wants you to travail to prevail. Why? Because in that pain as you travail, in that pain as the, just like, as the church birth, just as, you know, as you labor in the spirit, praying in tears. Sometimes you have prayed in tears. Do you know? The Bible says that, you know, for those who sow in tears, are you sowing something in tears right now? The Bible says, and they shall reap with with joy, glory to God. In other words, when you pray in tears, you will prevail. The joy will be an evidence of you prevailing in your life. In the name of the Lord, glory to God. Now listen to me, child of God. To prevail, I've checked on 
travail. And now it is important also to understand the meaning of, 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 of prevailing. And to prevail, it means to win out. Glory to God. How many people was to win out today? It means to win through. How many people was to win through that battle? Win through, win out that battle. Win through that battle. Hallelujah. It means to triumph. Glory to God. It means to be victorious over something. It means to carry the day. You That means you've been failing in the past season. But God sent me your way to let you know that he doesn't want you to identify yourself as a failure. You are not a failure. You are a victor. Glory to God. You're not a, a, a failure. You are an overcomer. You're not an, a victim. You are you're a victor. Glory to God. And so you have the capacity to carry the day in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You The you know, when you look at that word prevail, it means coming out on top. It is my prayer in the name of Jesus in these, uh, you know, few months that are remaining to, to close 2024. It is my declaration, my brother and my sister, that you are going to come out on top. May the Lord make you to be above and not below. May the Lord cause, you know, cause you to be on top and not below beneath. May the Lord set you above the nations. Glory to God. Why? Because that will be the evidence that you are pre travailing to prevail in your life. Glory to God. Listen to me, child of God. When you are successful, that is true, that is prevailing in life. I pray that you are going to be successful in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that you're going to gain. I pray that you're going to be superior in your life. I pray that God is going to make you to be an overcomer. To prevail is to succeed, to be successfully, or rather to you know you pers you persuade someone or something that is prevailing you're able you know you're pursuing something you 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 know you're pursuing somebody and you prevail you're prevailing it is my prayer that you will prevail in ministry you will prevail in that marriage you will prevail in that business you will prevail in your calling you will prevail in your career that is the will of God in your life who am I talking to right now God wants somebody to prevail in the name of Jesus. Listen to me, child of God. The church was praying honestly for Peter when he was in the prison. Can I make a statement here right now? The prayer changes things and also prayer changes people. Hallelujah. When you pray, God will change things in your life. And when you pray again, God will change situations. God will change issues. Situations will begin to change. God changes people through prayer and God changes things through prayer. God will never answer. No, the church was praying honestly. That means something needs to be done. You cannot say that you are, you, you, your expectation is you have a deeper and a greater expectation in your heart and you are not praying. Listen to me, child of God. If you don't pray, then it is a tragedy that you are not praying. Glory to God. Listen to me. God will not answer to a prayer that has not been prayed. If you have not prayed, Glory to God. God will not answer the prayer. If the church was not praying for Peter, Peter could not come out of the prison. And so that means when you don't, it is a tragedy when you, 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 when you don't offer a prayer. But when you offer a prayer, it is a greater blessing because you are connected to the souls. Now, prayer changes people's, people's attitude. It is my prayer that God will change people's attitude right now. Prayer changes people's attitudes. The more we pray, the more we encounter God's anointing. How many people want the anointing to be, you know, uh, uh, released? Wants the anointing to be, access, you know, wants to have the access of the anointing. The more you pray, the more we encounter God's anointing, and the more the authority, the more the demons will begin to be frustrated. 
oh glory to God. It is my prayer that demons will be frustrated out of your life. You will be a man that when you're walking along the street, people will see you. People will just, you know, smell that somebody dangerous is coming. Why? Because demons will fear prayer. Demons will fear fear a woman of prayer. Demon fear, you know, you know, you know, a man of prayer. And so, if you are a prayerful person, God is saying it is time to go deeper. The Bible says, and the church was praying earnestly for Peter. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now listen to me, child of God. Before I come out of this place, I want somebody to know that God is calling us to a place of prayer, traveling to prevail in prayer. Don't fear you, you, the heights. Glory to God. Don't fear the heights. They, you know, don't fear anything in your life. Hallelujah. Don't fear whatever thing that has been brought in you, you know, in, in, in before you. Don't fear them because you are making a travailing prayer right now. You're walking in the power of prayer. You will ha you have an access. When you pray, when you're walking in the power of prayer, you have an access to, to the keys of your destiny. Some of you, you're lost. You lost the keys to your destiny, but I'm giving you the right key right now. Come, come back to a place of prayer because you have the access to the key of your destiny in Jesus' mighty name. No wonder the Bible says, Jesus said, Jesus said, I will give to you the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth will be loose in heaven. What a privilege and honor to know that we have the capacity, we have the keys, and whatever we lose here, it is loosed in heaven. Whatever we bind here, it is bound in heaven. What a great honor we have in the presence of God. No wonder the Bible says, and from the time of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of God suffers violence, and the violence shall take it by force. Glory to God. Who am I talking to right now? You're saying, I I want to travail to prevail in my life. I want to travail to prevail in my business. I want to travail to prevail in my in my calling, in my walk with God. You are the person I'm talking to. You're asking yourself poor boy, poor girl, can anything good come from me? I have an answer for you. Yes, something will come out of you. You're asking yourself, can, can God really remember me in this situation? I have an answer for you because you are in the season of prevailing. God will make it possible for you. You're asking yourself, can, can my name change really? Yes, I have an answer for you that God knows your name before you think about even changing it. God knows your name and he can change it. He can transform it. You're asking yourself, can God use me? Yes, the anointing is coming over your life for you to prevail. You're asking yourself, can God deliver me? Yes, the power to deliver you is upon you right now. You're asking yourself, can God heal me? Those that are sick right now, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, I declare that sickness is broken. That cancer is broken. That that sickness, that infirmity. You've been in that prison for too long. As the church was praying, I pray for you right now that that, that sickness, it is not your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. You're asking yourself a question. Can God fulfill the visions in my life? Can God fulfill his promises? Oh my goodness, yes. That is the answer. Why? Because it is in his word in the name of the Lord. Have you ever been anxious over something pray hallelujah what are the true things in your life that you really feel that you need to have in life and you don't have them pray to god is there anything wonderful that you really want god to give to you as i pray for you right now as i make this uh last words i wanted to, to know that god wants it to prevail to to prevail. God wants it to prevail in your life. And God wants you to, to labor in the spirit. God wants it to live in the spirit. And as the church was praying for Peter, it is my prayer that God is going to, you know, to, to move and God is going to change things in your life. And every prison life in your life, the Lord is going to release freedom to you in Jesus' name. Let it be so according to the word of God. May you travail.
to prevail. God bless you. Until we meet again next time in Jesus' name. Shalom.